hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to add glitch effect on website here on this web page you can see a text in the center when i move cursor over this text you can see the glitch effect this glitch effect for website is made only using html and css that you will learn to create in this video but before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start this video here in this folder i have one html file one css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file here in this html file we have the link tag that will connect the html and css file now let me open our html file with web browser so you can see this web page here it is blank right now we can see the white background on this website let me resize the screen and this editor size so now we will add this css for this body tag so let me copy this one and add it here in this css file and for this body we will add the background color so it is dark color and here we will add the color white it will be the text color now in this body tag we will add one text in h1 tag so the text is glitch now you can see this text on this web page on the top left corner we have to change the position for this text so here you can see we have the h1 so in this one we will add the class name called glitch next we will add the css for this glitch class name so write this class name here in the css file here we will add the position absolute top 50% left 50% and transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% so it will move the text in the center of the web page we will increase the font size of this text you can see this text in the center with the increased font size next we will add the letter spacing so we will get some space between the letters and we will add cursor pointer after adding this we will add dot glitch double colon before so it is the pseudo element in this one we will add content and in this content we will add the same text which is glitch so actually we are adding another text here with the pseudo element here we will add display block so you can see two text on the web page the same text two times the second one is coming from this before here we will add position so let's add the position absolute now both the text are overlapping each other let me add the top 10 pixel and left 10 pixel so you can see little bit difference in the position here we will add comma and again we will add dot glitch and after so we have two pseudo elements let me remove this position and now you can see there are total three text one for before and one for after and the one text is from the h1 tag let me change the top and left position zero so all the text are overlapping each other so we can see only one text that's it now we will add the hover effect so here we will add dot glitch hover and before so whenever we will take cursor there will be some animation so here we will add animation glitch it will be for 0.3 seconds linear and it will be for six time then we will add the color it will change the text color whenever we will take cursor then we will add z index it will be in the minus so it will be behind the main text which is in the h1 just duplicate it and here we will change it as after and in this after we have to add animation reverse so it will be different from the first animation then we will change the color this will be the text color for the after text and z index minus one after adding this let me again comment this position so you can see three text and when we take cursor you can see different color for the before text and after text and the position is different and if we enable this position from here all the text are overlapping each other so we can see only one text now we have to change the position little bit using the animation so here we will add keyframes and the animation name which is glitch and here we will add 
0% at 0% it will be top 0 and left 0 position will be same now duplicate it and here we will add 20% 40% 60% and 80% so at these intervals we will add different position for the text here we will add minus 5 pixel and minus 5 pixel then we will add in top 5 pixel and left 5 pixel then at 60% we will add minus 5 pixel and 5 pixel at 80% it will be 5 pixel and minus 5 pixel so in all the time we have added different top and left position at 100% it will again 0 and 0 after adding this again come to website and if we take cursor you can see the glitch effect on this text let me open this web page in full screen so you can see it clearly this glitch effect is looking good when we take cursor it moves the position for six times and after that if we remove cursor and take cursor again again it will display the glitch effect so let me explain you again in this html file we have just added one text with the class name and uh, here for this class name we have added the position so it will be in the center and then we have increased the font size and cursor pointer then we have added two other text using the before and after pseudo elements so we have two other text with the same content which is glitch and we have added position absolute top zero left zero so it will be at the same position then we have changed the position using animation and in this animation we have added 0.3 seconds linear and 6 so it will perform the animation for 6 time in the second one we have added reverse so that the animation will start from 100 to 0 for the second text which is after text if both after and before will move together then you will see only one text because one will overlap other so here we have added reverse so the animation will start from 100 to 0 for the after text and here we have defined the keyframes for the animation which is glitch so in this one i have added 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent and 80 percent at 20 percent it will move up and left side at 40 percent it will move down and right side then at 60 percent it will move up and right side and at 80 percent it will move down and left side and these all movements will happen in 0.3 seconds so it will be very fast after applying these keyframes we can take cursor over the text and you will see the beautiful glitch effect on the text so this is how you can easily create glitch effect for website using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video